So if you've been on the fence about starting an online business, even just as a side hustle, because either you're not sure about what to start or you think you're just too busy to get started, I wanna help you today by unpacking exactly what you need to do to get started in as little as just 30 minutes a day. Hey friend, I'm Brad Long and welcome to the channel where we help career burnouts achieve financial independence by starting and growing an online business. If you follow the six steps in this video, you will be able to start your very own online business that generates anywhere between five and $1,000 a month in sustainable income within your first 180 days, all with about 30 to 60 minutes per day of effort, even if you're already super busy. And by the way, if you're too busy to even watch this video, you can just download my free How to Start an Online Business Quick Start Guide, which also includes an audio training if you're too busy to even read the guide itself. And the free guide actually goes into much more detail than I'm able to cover in this short video, so make sure you go ahead and grab that. Let's jump into it. Step one, find your profitable idea or niche or niche, depending on where you're from. This is the step where you decide on what subject matter you want to address in your online business. And the sweet spot in finding your niche is found between the intersection of one, what you love to talk about, and two, what people are willing to pay for once you start creating digital products, which we'll talk about later. So some questions to ask yourself as you're getting started. What do you love to talk about? What are you genuinely interested in? If you had a whole day to research a subject, what would it be? What subjects could you just talk about for hours on end. What do people tell you you're good at? What kinds of issues do people come to you right now for, for advice? And what subjects do you love to teach? And on what topics would you consider yourself to know more than most people? As you start to define and narrow down your topic and who you serve, you'll want to ask deeper probing questions to you know friends, family, maybe your social media accounts. Question one, what are your biggest frustrations with your topic? right now. And question two is what is what are your biggest goals or desires with your topic right now? The second big question is what are people willing to pay for once you start creating the digital products we're going to talk about? This is the part where you want to start thinking through the intersection of your interests and what people are willing to pay for to get help and results. Don't be afraid to tighten your focus and get even more specific about who you serve, aka niching down. And equally importantly, it's okay if you don't know yet. It might take a little bit of time. A helpful insight is don't be discouraged if you're in a crowded niche like fitness, cooking, health coaching, personal finance, online business. That's usually evidence that there's actually profit to be made in that space. Keep in mind that the next three steps that we're going to cover are all worked sort of semi-simultaneously. Step two, start creating content. So your free and amazing content will be the foundation and trademark of your brand moving forward. Creating highly valuable free content on a consistent basis I recommend at least weekly, will be the engine that drives your business in the coming weeks, months, and years. Think of each little piece of content as an employee or a salesman out there in the ether, adding value to your audience and then driving them toward your lead magnet and then to your email list where you can deliver even more value. Your emails help them to better know you, like you, and trust you. And this beautiful process cultivates raving fans that become customers, which is really what we want. The next thing you'll want to do is choose a content format. So choose the primary format that you want to deliver your content. Again, preferably weekly. And that could be written, which would be blog posts, video, which would be like YouTube videos, or audio, which would be like a podcast. As you're getting started, to avoid you getting overwhelmed, I'd recommend starting with one format at first. Now you can ultimately pivot to doing all three simultaneously, but I recommend the simplicity as you start. Every time you release new content, one, make sure you offer your lead magnet. This builds your email list and more on that a little bit later. Two, email your weekly content to your list. This is a way to nurture the relationship you're building with them. Three, share your weekly content on your social media channels so that you can reach new people. And congratulations, you're now a content creator. Next, let's talk about your lead magnet, which is step three. Create a lead magnet. So your lead magnet initiates the next level of your relationship with your audience. This is what converts your passive audience members into active subscribers, engaged students, and ultimately to paying customers. Okay, so you've picked your niche, 
and have started asking your audience questions, creating content and solving problems for them. So what's next? What is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is a free exclusive piece of content aimed at solving one of your audience's specific problems in a succinct and valuable way. This content is delivered to them in exchange for their email address and accomplishes the following. It promotes your brand as a valuable solution and generates new leads. It increases your credibility as a creator. It delivers a high perceived value. It's informative, helpful, and solves a problem. And it increases the probability that your new fan will convert to a paying customer. So some lead magnet forms, downloadable, printable PDFs, like the guide that I was mentioning earlier, checklists, cheat sheets, assessments with recommendations in them, free audio trainings, free video workshops, or even mini courses. I highly recommend PDF guides, checklists, and cheat sheets, especially as you're starting. Two lead magnet must-haves. One, your lead magnet must be relevant to your audience's needs and deliver on a realistic promise. Make sure to focus on the naming of your lead magnet as that is what most people will see. Two, ideally your lead magnet should offer them a quick win and be granular enough to get them real results without going into too much detail. Okay, now that we've got some basic elements of lead magnets down, let's go ahead and build your lead capturing website. Step four, build your website. In this step, you're gonna be building the centralized hub for your brand. Your website is the destination you'll be driving traffic from your social media and search engine presence, i.e. Google, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, etc. in order to get them on your email list. Your website is where you will house your blog content, your about page, your landing pages, your lead magnets, and ultimately your digital courses. Don't worry, we'll get there. So my advice here is to keep it super simple. Because it's so tempting to get lost in the weeds here, I want you to hold this one thought in your head. The primary function of your website is to capture your, your visitors' email addresses, period. Yes, that's right. It's not really about you or your history, your accomplishments, your offerings, as awesome as I'm sure those are. Priority number one of your site is to capture email addresses. Again, period. So focus on optimizing for that and you'll win. Now, am I saying you should totally ignore content or aesthetics? No, absolutely not. What I am saying is that while content and aesthetics are indeed important, the most important thing that your website serves to do is capture your prospects' email addresses. So why so much emphasis on this? Because as we'll cover in step five, email marketing is still the number one way to sell to your audience. Again, we'll go into much more depth on this point in step five. The website platform option now, this is not meant to be a deep dive on platform options, but I will say that back in 2018, I started my platform on WordPress, which in my opinion has a very steep learning curve. So if you're just starting, I would recommend another more user-friendly platform like Wix.com or Squarespace.com or even Kajabi. And I'll talk more about Kajabi later. And this will help you keep from pulling your hair out and getting discouraged. So there's a lot more to say about that, but let's move on to step five, start capturing emails. So the question usually is, why email? With email, you actually own the relationship and are not at the whims of algorithm changes on the various social media platforms. But even beyond that, email marketing is statistically the best way to own and nurture your relationship with your audience. And there's tons of data on this. Case in point, according to HubSpot, 40% of B2B marketers say email newsletters are most critical to their content marketing success, and 73% of millennials prefer communications from businesses to come from email. Furthermore, 99% of consumers check their email every day, and it is by far the preferred way to receive updates from brands. So how do you start capturing emails? Now, as you've probably already gathered, your free content in your lead magnet starts this beautiful process. As you're creating amazing free content every week, a curious percentage of your audience will see the value in your lead magnet and opt in to your email list to gain access to the lead magnet. Besides immediately delivering your lead magnet, email marketing will give you the opportunity to one, deliver more value to your subscribers, two, nurture your relationship with them, three, build your credibility, and four, give you the ability to sell them your products directly. Now let's talk about some tools to use. This is where you choose an email service to host your list. I personally started with MailerLite. You can start with MailChimp or some other free service. I eventually moved over to Kajabi, which houses my entire platform, not just my email list. Whichever platform you choose, the email service will allow you to deliver your lead magnet as soon as someone subscribes to your list and will give you direct access to their email inbox. So a piece of advice and mindset around this is never stop growing 
sharing and loving on your email list. Now that you've set up your lead generation machine, you want to make sure that you're always in list growth mode and that you're loving the stew out of the people on your list. Some ways to do this are to regularly, one, notify them of your weekly content, like I mentioned earlier. Two, offer them free additional resources, just sort of out of the blue. Three, offer, i.e. sell them your digital products. And I would do this at least monthly, if not quarterly. Okay, step six, build and launch your online course, your life-changing digital products. Now, this is where you finally start to hit pay dirt. I know it's a lot of work to get here. And while it does take some work to get here, if you follow the previous steps, you'll be building an audience of super fans who are starving for your courses like a marathon runner who hasn't eaten for a whole month. And really, that's exactly what you want. Now, unfortunately, building an online course is the first thing that most people gravitate toward because some Lambo flaunting, mansion posing fake guru told them that, hey, you can build your product over the weekend by just repurposing someone else's material, launching it with Facebook ads, and pop the cork of your favorite bubbly as you watch endless streams of cash rolling in. Now, I don't think I need to tell you how incredibly inaccurate that is. As you've probably already gathered, the very first thing that we need to do is create massive value for your audience. Then we earn the right to ask them to trade their currency for the value we've created in terms of our digital products. So the true value of an online course, and if you're anything like I was starting out, you're probably thinking something like, man, what can I create or what kind of course can I do that hasn't already been done? There's already so much information out there in the clouds of the vast open interwebs about whatever your topic is. Won't I just be adding to the noise? And that's that's really an understandable objection, but let me explain to you how to sort of overcome that in your mind. What you're actually doing when you create a solid, relevant digital course is that you're giving your audience a comprehensive step-by-step -step roadmap that solves their specific pain point and allows you to be compensated generously for the value you're creating. You're offering them transformation and you're doing it by giving them a granular, turn-by-turn -turn roadmap to guide them into the transformation that they're looking to achieve. And it's pretty cool. So let's talk about your first $500 to $1,000 in revenue. Now, the entire point of this video is to get you up and running and profitable as soon as possible. So let's do some quick math. When you get to the point where you can sell five to 10 courses, you know, at $50 to $100 a month passively, you're already at the $500 to $1,000 a month in passive income. It might take some time and effort to get there, but the good news is if you can get there, you can get to 50 to 100 courses per month and well beyond that. And welcome to the beauty of online business. Okay, now let's talk about a little bonus step to bring this all together. I'm gonna to call that our next steps. First, let's recap what we've covered. So as you remember, my goal for you by the end of this no nonsense video is to be able to start your very own online business that generates 500 to $1,000 a month in sustainable income within your first 180 days, all with about 30 to 60 minutes per day of effort, even if you're already super busy. So the question is, can you see it? As we've worked out the math, can you see the potential? Can you visualize what it would look like to have 500 to $1,000 a month in passive income coming in? And I'm here to tell you that if you follow the steps, this is exactly what I've done, with consistency and get help as you progress, those numbers are the bare minimum of what's possible in online business. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. There's actually an even easier way to start earning right away. And I want to talk about the benefits of starting with coaching or consulting. One of the immediate things you can do to accelerate your trajectory toward generating passive income is to start by offering coaching or consulting services to your audience. Is it passive? No, but it can greatly benefit your new online platform in the following ways. It's the fastest way to monetize your efforts. It helps you develop your authority and confidence with your audience. It helps you better understand your audience's needs. It's kind of like doing deep customer research. And it's an excellent source of finding and refining material for your upcoming digital courses. This was the immediate way I was able to monetize my personal finance content. I simply started offering free coaching to a couple of my students under the condition that they would provide a testimonial if I did a good job for them. Then I actively started offering paid coaching to my audience. This turned out to be a treasure trove of data I was able to use to one, make my content more magnetic for my existing audience, two, understand the questions behind the questions that I got on a regular basis, and three, help me to develop super relevant course content based on my one-to-one -one coaching interactions. So do this next, go download my free How to Start an Online Business Quick Start Guide, which also includes that audio training that you can listen to on your way to the office for your crappy corporate job. The link is in the video description below. Like I said earlier, 
the free guide actually goes into much more detail than I'm able to cover in this short video. So make sure you go grab that. Just start with the steps in this guide and I can promise you if you follow them faithfully, you will get to profitability and man, will you be hooked. It's so much fun. I remember my very first online course sale coming in and thinking to myself, this is absolutely amazing. And while building an online business is not a complicated process, really, it's step by step, it does take time, effort, and commitment. I'm never gonna promise you overnight success, but I can promise you that with diligence and guidance, you will have a profitable, sustainable online business that brings you passive income every month. And I want that for you almost as badly as you want it for yourself. So don't forget to download your free guide and let me know your idea in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.